Don't even fucking... Alright, welcome back. Episode 150. 150. Whoa! Oh, God, oh um, our bracket, we, we did a bracket on Thursday. It was, I shit you not, literally the first game of the NCAA tournament, our bracket was busted. Like, the very first mm-hmm. game, it was busted. Didn't, didn't last... waste any time. The second game, the second game was also, we picked wrong. So, um... Dang. Not world renowned educated people, I guess. Last Very year sad. I had done a March Madness bracket and I had Purdue winning. So I don't know anything about college you basketball. Can't... Oh, yeah. No, the one thing you have to know is that Purdue will always choke. Death, tax, I've been told. And Purdue letting down. <laughs> yeah. USF just, almost. Just for next it. time. They got snub. I heard they got snub. People think they got snub because they won their conference. And Florida, like, man. That, that Florida State, thing. USF. Well, Virginia Virginia got in over a few schools like Indiana State, and Virginia literally scored 14 points in the first half of their of their first four game. Jeez. Which is insane. They are the I they are the Iowa. They they are the uh who's the NFL equivalent? Horrible the like the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Colts. No, no, be nice, be nice. <laughs> they're they're the Pittsburgh Steelers of college basketball. That's probably a better equivalent. Um, speaking of the Colts, episode two of Unstable is out right now. If you want to go check that out, um, it dropped on Friday in conjunction with the Curtis Podcast Network. Um, we also had a new trailer for the 2024 Chaotically Intolerant um, Table Tennis League dropped. Let's go. Creed, I had to put Creed in there. Um, <laughs> had to have them as a background song and we i just literally tonight i just bro I, I don't know why my internet's cutting out so much but um i just dropped the uniform mock-ups the first uniform mock-ups of uh for the team so i'm really excited for that uh, we're ordering them from china china most likely uh um, they're probably gonna steal our data they're gonna steal all of our data just like they steal our data from tiktok so not much different um what do you feel about the chi- uh, TikTok getting banned? I, I I think it's I think that's I think that's so stupid. Kind of- it's also it's like how you're not supposed to pirate movies. Like everyone's gonna do it. Everyone's gonna find a way to get back on. Yeah. T- like you can't ban something, especially off the internet. It's just impossible. In in this day and age, yeah. Like they mm-hmm. they they literally they ban they try and ban us from from watching sports like pirated like. Fuck, mm-hmm. I'm not paying for every single streaming service so I can watch football. <laughs> like, I'm just not doing that. Even though mm-hmm. I do pay a lot when I really shouldn't. But I will say a lot of those sites are just a pain in the ass. And I'm I'm just not. I don't want to put up with it. I watch too much football. Bruh. I mean, I will I say when I'm, when I'm rich and famous, I'll, I'm, I'll pay for NFL game pass and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, like, it's. It's just a little too much for me to worry about. I, I really, I've, I've tried it before. I've done it. Like I did it for like a Monday night game when I didn't have the ESPN subscription. And now I just use a buddy of mine's YouTube TV. But literally every 10 minutes I had to click out of porn ads. And What's I was like, problem? this is. <laughs> you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Break from the action. <laughs> it's better. It was better than watching the 2022 Colts. I'll say that. <laughs> Anything's Matt better Ryan. than watching any Colts. Just shut the fuck up, Lee. <laughs> um, we, we talked about it on, on Unstable. Um, we were talking about it. And mm. it, the, the Legereus Sneed discourse that was going on last weekend, because for a while it was like, okay, the Colts and the Chiefs have this deal done to get Legereus Sneed. They're just working mm. out the language right now. Very, like, it's like, it's happening. And then... Like literally a day later, they were like the cult. The teams have not even communicated. They haven't even talked to each other. There's been no discussion about it. I have never seen. I have never seen reporting so bad. I've never seen anything like that. It is insane how that happened. I was like, dude, what the fuck? That's really horrible. Colts Nation was literally dancing. We were jumping up and down. Like, oh my god, we got Legarius Need. This is the big trade that we needed. And then. Mm-hmm. It, it, ne- it was not even true. Nothing even happened. So it's been a week. But Joe Flacco, Joe Flacco. I mean, whatever, whatever makes you sleep at night. I feel like the Joe bus Flacco is a cult, Layton. 
the Bucks have done a really great job in um, trades. I think we're looking even stronger than this last year. I saw a billboard um, on my way to Tampa this week with a Mike Evans buck for life thing. Yep. That's all it said. And Levante yeah, like Davis. Mike Evans buck for life. Him and well, I saw you guys Day. got rid of Shaq Barrett. Yeah. So I guess you just don't care about – you guys just don't care about buck for life. Well, I because I didn't know – the why, but I read some comments that were so, oh he's washed or whatever, so I don't know. Yeah, he is. He's no he is he How he old was, is he? He did not look nearly the same. And the Dolphins picked him up. Yeah. He's like I mean he's old for a linebacker. Yeah. Yeah. Let me the see. Bucks he's, are looking like he's gotta be <laughs> He's he's thirty one right now, so that's old for a linebacker. Yeah, I think Levante David's 36. Yeah, we've got some old fellas on our team. There's no way Levante David is 36. If he's 36, then I might as well kill myself. I thought he was. I could because be wrong. That means I'm That means I'm 95 years old. Of course my Oh, he's 34. Is. He's 34. 34. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still playing at a good level though. He is. I mean, it was a, it, he, he signed a one-year deal. And unless, I mean, he might retire at the end of the year anyway. I mean, so yeah. He might even start falling off rapidly or something, too. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of times that happens with linebackers. They just fall off a cliff. And mm-hmm. um, speaking with falling off a cliff, uh, Russell Wilson, hilarious, going to the Steelers. Because I, I, we haven't I, – I don't think we've talked since all that stuff went down, since, like, the big free agency movements. Well, that's so weird because he goes to the Steelers. Okay, Steelers have their quarterback. Kenny Pickett's going to be driving Uber. Then they send Justin Fields as well. Like, what is well, going no, they, on? They traded with Chicago for they got him. They got him cheap. I would say mm-hmm. that's a great deal for the Steelers. Yeah, but it's so like Justin Fields is going to the backup or he's Russell well, Wilson. He's going to get to sit behind. <laughs> I, I would say like, uh, I think Fields will start a game. Fields will start a game for them at some point this year, a hundred percent. I don't doubt that. Like he'll he'll probably start in like week fifteen because the Steelers are probably going to be out of it again, just just like mm-hmm. they always are, or just like they have been for the past few years. Um, Kenny yeah. Pickett is actually driving Uber in Pennsylvania still, <laughs> just just with your team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, he needs to drive oh, yeah. a, an Eagles branded car. He's got the the little flashing light on the front, Uber lift, and it alternates. All right, yeah. let's do the wheel. Whoa, what was this? All right, uh, Shohei Otani's translator. So the <laughs> Los Angeles Dodgers have mm-hmm. fired Shohei Otani's translator this week for um, allegedly he stole four point three million dollars from Shohei Otani's uh, bank account to pay off gambling debts. First off, he's got to pump those numbers rush. up. I mean, if we're, if we're gambling, <laughs> if we're gambling, we're not gambling just $4.3 million, like whatever. Mm-hmm. But you got you need to be putting in more, all right? Mm-hmm. You're always one bet away from your biggest bet. Like Life savings on bet. red. Come on now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but there there are conspiracy theories that Shohei is actually the one who has really big debts in, in Japan. And uh, because there's a video of them because they played um, a two-game series against the Padres over in Japan mm-hmm. or South Korea. Absolute slugfest. And, I know, right? <laughs> they, like Major League Baseball just knows to juice the balls when, when it's over overseas. <laughs> they did that in London a few years ago when the Red Sox played the Yankees. Um, but Shohei and his translator were like all buddy-buddy right before they were going to announce that he was fired. So. Damn. There could be something to it, or it could have just guy. been. Yeah, he could be the fall guy. Um, <laughs> if, if Shohei has four point three million dollars in gambling debts, I, I'll just start rooting for him even more. Like he's a lovable guy now. He's got his dog. He, he dates. A, he's married to a Chinese women's basketball player. Like, but him having four point three million dollars in gambling debt is awesome. I love that. Sigma. Real men are in debt. <laughs> Real, yeah, real men are always climbing, <laughs> clawing out of debt. That's we've that, always got our backs against the wall. Pressure builds diamonds for these guys. 
Like you mm-hmm. can't play you can't play high level baseball if you're not constantly freaking out about the yakuza yeah. on your back. Your life doesn't ready, depend ready on to it. Strike. <laughs> His wife is really just he, she she's a yakuza like informant and she just goes back and forth. She's like, "Listen, mm-hmm. he's he's really obsessed with this gambling stuff. You just got to k- keep letting him build that debt." He's a keep she's a lone money. shark. <laughs> he's got him locked in. Maybe, 20% maybe. interest. <laughs> He's he's about every every off day he's just locked in on on Japanese <laughs> women's basketball or yeah Japanese Japanese women's basketball. Mm-hmm. I was about to say Chinese women's basketball, but I don't I don't know if you can gamble on that unless you're in China. You might. I know there's a there's a gambling or sports betting app I use or I have used, and it had all sorts of random stuff because they'd give you like a free five dollars just for having the, and it would. Just oh you you wasted it here's another five so I've never put money into it but I'll just bet on oh these two Chinese ladies are playing tennis. <laughs> there's there's no rush like betting on some random sport. I I remember I saw a guy we we're I don't remember what we were doing but we were watching something and he goes hey can you turn on can you turn on like ESPN four I, I want to watch. <laughs> I, I want to watch this women's lacrosse game. I was like, buddy, you are an addict. <laughs> I mean, that's actually a really great way to engage in random sports. I feel like I should just, because especially like if I watch something like March Madness, I wouldn't root for any team. So it's like I should gamble on it because then I will root for a team. Yeah. I I remember I went to a lightning game like a couple, it was around Christmas time. And I took my little cousin, he's like 13 and I'm sitting there like, look, I'm like constantly looking at my phone. He's like, why are you looking at your phone? I was like, Oh, I I just have some bets in on this game. And (laughs) just throughout the game, I was just teaching him about overs and unders. I I had like the over on the first period goals over on the second period. I was just, I had the over on everything and I'm sitting in the lightning van section and thank God the game was like a high scoring game. I think it was like Mm -hmm. the final was like six to five and uh, like the lightning gave up a late goal and I was like, mm. I just started going fucking crazy and I was getting like the <laughs> dirtiest looks from all the lightning vans. Just rooting for Cause I'm not wearing team. anything. I'm wearing like a Red Sox hat <laughs> mm. and then the lightning scored the game winner and I'm still like, I'm like jumping up and down. I'm like, let's fucking go. And my cousin's like jumping up and down next to me and everyone's like these fucking guys. What What is going on over here? This is crazy. Big but money, big money. Young, yeah, teaching them young. I I won all my bets that night, I, or maybe I lost one bet, but that was it. I won every single every single one. Dang. That's the way. That's the way to attend a sporting event. Just go to a random sporting event. I think Dakota and I are going to a Rays game against the Blue Jays this week on Friday. And I think it's like it's only like it's, well, ten it's or opening 20, day. It was like ten or twenty bucks for tickets. That's why we got them. Like super opening days on the twenty eighth. So, yeah. When is that? All right, let's spin the wheel. Name a woman, Layton. Name a woman that's not Hillary Clinton, please. <laughs> um, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. That's <laughs> the one you come up with. Hey, that one. I I really tried. I'm like, okay, <laughs> just say a name. Say a name. That's the name. I mean, that's. That's listen. If you're gonna name a woman, she's she is an important woman in in history. So, do, do the you only have person to say on Rosa Parks, like, you know, she's the only person who got famous for sitting down for what she believes in. Hell yeah! There's a <laughs> clip. Um, again, uh, I gotta think here because I just watched Roadhouse. So, whatever, whoever the girl is in. Roadhouse, the main. The Bruh, main I need a name. Place. I need a name. I need a name. Yeah. What's her name? Oh, shit. Uh, Ellie uh, or Daniela Mel- Melcoyer. Um, never seen her before. Uh, Roadhouse, the new Roadhouse. If you haven't seen it, not a sponsored, not a sponsored segment. Um, I would definitely go see it. If if you're a man or just someone who loves ridiculous action movies somewhat action comedies I, w- I would go see this movie because like Jay, they everyone seems almost invincible in the movie mm-hmm. um they're constantly getting punched constantly getting just beaten to shit 
the most ridiculous. Conor McGregor is he just plays himself. I think mm-hmm. that's all he does. He he doesn't really play anyone else except himself, and he's the worst actor of all time. But it also like completely works. <laughs> Can't understand anything he's saying either. Good for him, branching out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Definitely. Jake. I mean, Paul. and he looks. He's huh? Jake Paul's Jake Paul. going from actor to fighter. So Conor they McGregor, are, fighter to actor. They are getting dangerously close to looking almost exactly like each other. Jake like Paul they really look with Jake Paul with his beard, the long beard, mm-hmm. and Conor McGregor with the long beard. I, I would say they look. They're da- they're getting a little too dangerous to looking exactly alike. I feel like Jake Paul's face is a little chunkier, but let me. I mean, it is. It's a little, but they look very. If he loses, Jake a little Paul bit, looks like Cooper Cup, bro. Oh yeah, Cooper Cup too with his beard. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah, that fight. I guess there's a no knockout clause, which immediate not watching after hearing that. How do you not? How are you not allowed to knock out your opponent? Is that what you that means? Your, you'll, yeah, you lose your you lose your purse if you knock him out. I hope Tyson says purse? fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyways. I saw Shaquille O'Neal was in a podcast and he's like, if 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 Jake Paul wins, are you really gonna feel good about beating a 57 year old Mike? Yeah. Like, it. I feel like it's so. I just we all all of the world wants to see Jake Paul leave in a stretcher, but like even if he did did win. It's like, who cares? Who's Here's the thing. I want Jake Paul to fight a fighter that is his age, who is a real fighter. Yes. That is it's not even Twitter like, say, <laughs> not even say in his prime, but just who's a real fighter who's his age. Because he's mm-hmm. only fought, if they're his age, they're not real boxers. They're either mm-hmm. UFC, which is hard to make the switch, or celebrities or youtube mm-hmm. youtubers okay which i don't even count i don't i don't count youtubers as celebrities let's let's get that out of the way even if like the fact like they get invited to like the oscars is ridiculous um <laughs> and it, we're saying that is low level pocket <laughs> i mean i would say YouTubers, like people watch youtube as much as we used to watch tv like i would say youtubers are celebrities they're, but they're not like going to the Oscar. They shouldn't be going to the Oscars. They shouldn't be going to these award shows. I think because they're not I would actors. Say not most, but I would say like someone like Mr. Beast should be expected at stuff like that. Maybe I also think it depends on genre because like PewDiePie, he's a gamer. Like, don't send him to the Oscars. Yeah, that's true. Well, I, you, I just think like Oscars, you got to be an actor. Yeah, you, you have to have. Some I agree sort with of, that. Like but Addison I mean, Ray, horrible actress. Horrible. Yeah. I feel like, like, obviously, I think it should just be actors at the Oscars or whatnot. But because they invite all other celebrities anyway, I feel like YouTubers are fine to throw into the mix. No. I, I want to see Stampy Long Nose at the Oscars. I don't throw them in there. They're, they're like, there's celebrities and then there's YouTubers who <laughs> I would still say the majority of America doesn't watch those YouTubers as much as they watch like a TV show. I would, cause you have to think yeah. about all the people. Cause I don't, honestly, I don't watch YouTube that much. Like I, I, I it's not really my thing. But at the same time, everyone in my family and workplace knows who Mr. Beast is. And like, there needs to be, there they're all double. Like a, if <laughs> add this into the election, <clears throat> just have, a list of YouTubers at a certain level of subscribers and say, do you know who this person is? And if a good amount, like maybe like 60% of America does know that person, then we'll count them as a celebrity. And we'll say, okay, you have- Like half of the people are just gonna skip that anyway. Require it. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, your voting is invalid if you don't know who Mr. Beast is. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's the voting machine. If it goes in and Mr. Beast isn't bubbled in, it diverts into a shredder. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that happen anyways? <laughs> Just half of Trump's voters don't get counted. <laughs> all the vo- it- I mean, all the voters don't get counted. It's it's <laughs> it's just whoever the voting machines. It's going to happen. I don't know. Hasn't that happened the last two years? It hasn't hasn't it been the rigged thing on both sides the last two elections? I even heard about it being rigged when Obama was 
president. I feel like it's just one of those things that's always going to happen. If you lose your, it's rigged, right? That's that's the mm-hmm. saying. The NFL, it's the NFL. If you lose, it's rigged. Well, the NFL is different. How is it different? Because <laughs> I know it's rigged. <laughs> All right, one more spin, then we'll get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, though. Bucks are going to the Super Bowl, man. Okay. You know, you guys are really getting on your fucking that, high horse because you signed Baker Mayfield. Okay. You overpaid okay. for Baker Mayfield. We went from projecting to be the worst team in the NFL. We crush it way better than your Colts. And then on top of that, we've made some amazing signings in the offseason. You guys had a horrible, horrible division you got to play in. Uh, Kate Middleton. Um, so I guess I'm going to touch on this because I want to point out all those perverts that are crazy about the Royal family. First off, they're not even real politicians. They don't even, they, they don't, they, they live off the government's dollar, the UK government's dollar. Mm -hmm. Second off, why are Americans so obsessed with these people? Like it's not even, I hate our government (laughs) enough. (laughs) Well, I don't need to, I don't need to be obsessed with another government Mm -hmm. and um, people were saying that, oh, Kate Middleton got a BBL. Kate Middleton is dead because she wasn't appearing. The, the mother of three young children was just going through cancer treatments. And sadly, instead of being able to do it privately, you perverts, you disgusting human beings basically forced her to come out and, and say, Hey, I have to go through cancer treatments and the fucking Royal, the the royal whatever buckingham palace fucked it up too with that ai generated photo that they tried to pass as a as a as a real photo of her which was also disgusting but these psycho like they got diana killed basically because the media is just psychos and it's they never learn chadwick boseman people were making fun of his weight and he had fucking cancer too like are we ever gonna learn that maybe people can just have private moments. It's just crazy yeah. to me. Like the trolls will always exist. It's it's like it's gross to me. Like that it, more than anything is gross. And they they are also like inbreds. Like they're going crazy over inbred people. The royals are inbred. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's like that's a well known thing. Like Kate Middleton isn't because she married in. It's gross to me. Really, really is. I don't know why she would marry marry him either. Like she's pretty. She is, and look at look at uh, William. Is that his name? Charles. Oh, is it, Charles? Is it William, Prince of Wales, the guy who is like half Har- Harry's. Ha- Harry's the one that complains about being in the spotlight, and then writes a book about being in the spotlight. But... Yeah, that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. It's oh. so stupid, bro. Meghan Markle has now decided that she wants to be called Princess of, of whatever, or Duchess of whatever. That's so stupid, bro. She's like, please leave me alone. And like, the, and, and her book is please leave me alone. That's the whole, that's the title of the book. Bro. The title of her podcast is please leave me alone. Please don't listen to this podcast. No, but it, it really does. I mean, these just let people go through shit alone sometimes. Like so the um, one of the Kardashian guys, Scott Disick, some photos of him emerged of him being like super, super skinny. Like mm-hmm. he like he looks sick, like sickly skinny, and people are already like, "Oh, what happened? We need to know what what's going on with this guy." Like he might have fucking cancer too. He might be sick. Like I mean, at the same time, I feel like a celebrity is subject to that. Just being in the spotlight. Heck, being a paparazzi is a real career path. Like that's sad too. I I hate I mean, the paparazzi. I can't imagine being a paparazzi person. That's like, can you imagine just having to stalk people, stalking like children too? They fucking, they're they're stalking like the Kardashians' children. Like, those children didn't ask to be, yeah, to be brought like, into this. Life. I don't understand how you go to sleep at night and that's your job. Like the Tobey Maguire video, it's hilarious, but he's like screaming, "You're, I can't see. You're blocking the fucking cars, motherfucker." Mm-hmm. I love the video. But it is like really sad. These people are like, a bunch of sad Justin Bieber ones. Yeah. They just I, I think what something happened with him and Haley Bieber and she's like bawling her eyes out. And these people are just surrounding them with with cameras like we need to get the we need to get a picture of her crying. We need to get a picture. It's like, mm-hmm. can you just back off for a second? They're they're parasites in my eyes. <laughs> like it's the lowest. It's the lowest of the low that, that mm-hmm. you could be. I think for a career, I can't imagine telling your parents 
I want to grow up to be a paparazzi. <laughs> the paparazzi academy. Your pa- your parents just restart. They're like, we got to have another kid, man. <laughs> How do we get rid of this one? Yeah, I really wonder, what does it even take to be a paparazzi? Do you just have to own a camera? You have to own a camera and be extremely, extremely intrusive into anyone's life. You have to have no boundaries whatsoever. Like, what was it? The Kanye video, too? They're like, it's like 5 a.m. They're videoing. And he's in the he's in the uh, garage and like, hey, Kanye. And he's like, shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> that's the only that's the only thing they deserve. I don't. And like the those magazines too, like the the grocery store magazines, they you know, when you're checking out, I've never I've like never looked at them and been like, wow, that's something I want to look at. I want to know what the celebrities are doing. Mm-hmm. Just make my movies. Just make the movies like. You like making art, that's cool. But just make my movies. Dang, you could earn over a hundred thousand a year being a paparazzi if you're able to be consistent. Way overpaid. Way <laughs> overpaid. I don't know, man. Sounds like a pretty uh, an opportunity. <laughs> they should be making like fifteen thousand dollars a year. Although Peter Parker is borderline paparazzi. He's <laughs> he's paparazzi for Spider Man. He's the only one that should be paid should be paid $100,000 a year to, to be paparazzi for Spider-Man. Does He does get the best photos of Spider-Man. So, um, And also, they're re-releasing all the Spider-Man movies into theaters. Cash grab. Total cash grab uh, by Sony because they know that Madam Web was horrible. Dang. I guess being right. paparazzi is an option. There you go, Leighton. I'll just do all it. Right, well, yeah, let's, let's wrap it up here. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, make sure to go to Unstabled, the YouTube channel, uh, go subscribe there, check it out. Um, and, uh, we will see you on Thursday.